is the morning of day two. We are done with Cosby Knob Shelter. We actually stayed at a, a tent pad, a tent site, just uh, down the hill from the actual shelter. And now we're headed for uh, Tri Corner Knob Shelter. We should get there in about seven point something miles, I think. And today should be a lot less terrible than yesterday as far as elevation. We do have at least one push, about a thousand feet total for the day of gain, I believe. Matt, do you know offhand if it's a thousand feet or if it's ish? Yeah. So that'll be a delight. Um, <laughs> but pretty much all of us feel much better this morning than we did last night. And my sleeping pad developed a leak, so I get to sleep on the ground, pretty much. I figure if I phrase it, I got to, instead of I ended up having to, maybe I can convince myself that it wasn't that bad. Maybe. Anyway, we are ready to get going, so that's what we're going to do. So right out of the uh, Cosby Knob shelter, the uh, trail signage says that we've got 7.6 miles to the tri-corner knob shelter. So overall elevation today is going to be okay until, like I said, later, about midway through the day, we're going to hit a pretty punishing spike, but it should be nothing compared to uh, yesterday's protracted slog uphill so hopefully we're able to make good uh, good time my spirits will stay high and I uh, will get there in uh, good shape good condition and uh, and then <laughs> have an opportunity to get up get uh, set up for the next day since we come up out of where the uh, Cosby Knob Shelter is, has been uh, between, or it seems like it runs across the ridge, but it's been shielded on either side by trees. But uh, on occasion, you'd get a, a couple of glimpses of some of the nearby peaks. And, you know, it's, that's one of the reasons why I love coming out and doing this type of stuff, even if you have days like yesterday that were just brutal. Today, so far, hasn't been terrible. There has been some up, and there will be more, but just this opportunity to enjoy a, a cool, I guess, early fall day. And up here, you know, and I believe things should open up a little bit as we get uh, further along. We'll see. But even if they don't, you know, just the, uh, there's a little bit of a chill in the air, which feels great, you know, with all this uh, walking with too heavy of a pack on your back. So we just passed a trail sign for Snake Den Ridge in about two, 0.3 miles, I believe. We've uh, started a, a little bit of an incline. It's not too bad right now. And uh, I suspect it'll get more pronounced later in the day. But for now, it's not too bad. But it is there. A lot of. Uh, a lot of steps, wooden steps, kind of cut into the trail. 
Anyway, it feels like some of the uh, uh, mist from the morning is starting to burn off. Start to feel some of the sun. Yeah, a few harder shadows in places. So it looks like today is gonna be another pretty beautiful day. So we've come to a little bit of a clear spot in the trail. We can get a view out over some of the surrounding peaks. And I don't know offhand if that's where we're headed today, if that's Tri-Corner Knob or not. I'll put a note uh, if I figure out what it is. But uh, yeah, you can see some of the sun starting to hit the uh, sides of those little ridges there. found a nice little uh, sun dappled spot on the side of the trail here just to kind of pause for a minute. I, uh, once again, I've gotten out ahead of the other guys, so I'll give them a, a moment to catch up. But uh, yeah, had a little bit of relative flat, which has been nice. Uh, come through some nice rhododendron tunnels. And you still see them scattered throughout here and there. There's some behind me. I don't know if the camera's picking them up or not, but uh, yeah, not a, not a bad little stretch. We do have a, a big push coming up though, so have that to look forward to. But uh, yeah, not a bad day. Nice, uh, nice weather, can't complain. Reading my all trails right, it seems we are about a, a third of the way up the last sustained push for uh, the entirety of this of this trip. And after today, or after this push, I should say, uh, there will be some elevation gain and loss, but this uh, monster aspect of it should be behind us. So, looking forward to that. So we've reached the junction between. Uh, Snake Den Ridge and uh, Tri-Corner Knob. Yeah, another 3.7 for the day. That's a nice number to see. It's a lot better than the, <laughs> it's better than the numbers we were looking at uh, yesterday. We do still have some up to go, but hopefully we're nearing the, uh, the end of that. And then hopefully we'll get a little bit of a break. Still have some tree cover to kind of keep most of the heat of the sun off, but you're still getting some of the, the light uh, filtering down onto the trail, which is nice. Looks really pretty. Yeah, over halfway, which is also a good feeling. All right, we've gained most of the uphill that uh, we've been uh, dealing with for the last however many feet. And now we've got a little bit of a downhill kind of flat uh, stretch here, which is probably nice and deceptive to lull us into a false sense of ease and then punish us at the end, but uh, we'll enjoy, the, enjoy it while we can. We've got maybe a couple of miles left before we get to the shelter. But uh, we found this nice meadow. It seemed like a really good place to break for lunch, so that is what we're doing. You know, you get up and you can look out down into the valley. See some of these knobs and peaks and ridges. So we've come a little way since where we stopped for lunch. 
We've been in this uh, rocky, uh, rocky section downhill for a little while. We did pass by some pretty amazing views of somewhere in Tennessee. I'll, uh, I'll try to put the uh, inserts in here. And uh, yeah, you know, it's just been, been more uh, keeping on, keeping on. reached uh, Tri-Corner Knob Shelter. We're actually down from the shelter. You may be able to see it uh, up there. Uh, chimney, there is a there is a, a fire pit, uh, fireplace inside, which is pretty nice. But anyway, we're uh, setting up our tents down below the shelter. There are some through hikers and section hikers up at the shelter, so we're gonna go uh, cook our meals with them, I believe. Um, then it'll uh, be time to get some sleep because you know, my feet are unhappy with me. Um, <clears throat> but one thing while I'm thinking about it, pointing it out is it's called a tri-corner because this region is where the Balsam Mountains and the Great Smoky Mountains kind of intersect one another. So you've got those ridges uh, coming together and where they cross or where they intersect forms a triangular shape, hence the name. And I don't think, generally speaking, that a whole lot of people ever really came to this particular area until the AT uh, was cut through it. Yeah, see y'all in the morning. <laughs> 